What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, um, I'm going to be taking a look at the Miami Dolphins and Patriots rosters one last time and the injury report for the game. Um, the main reason I'm going to be looking at the rosters is just because uh, a lot of times going from preseason to regular season, there's number changes and stuff like that. So, I just want to um, see if there's any notable number changes because I don't want to be completely lost in the game. Um, that all looks fine. Noah's still nine. Okay. Uh, DBs look fine. Trill Williams finally switched away from fifth from a uh, what was it fifty one? I can deal with six. <laughs> um, Elijah Campbell, yeah, Jason McCourty still the same. Agba still the same. Butler. Um, I feel like John Jenkins wasn't ninety before, but whatever. Siler. We're good there. Uh, Robert Jones is still the same. Looks like we're still the same for the most part. Just want to confirm that. Um, I feel like Duke Riley was a different number in preseason. I don't remember, though. Uh, I think we're fine. But I just noticed that, like with the Cowboys and Bucks game, there was a lot, at least a lot of Cowboys that changed their numbers. So I wanted to confirm. Tight ends look fine. So do receivers. Okay, cool. Um, injured reserve, yeah. Oh, and we can get a look at our uh, practice squad as well. Uh, our final practice squad. Okay, Javaris Davis, Jared Dokes. I I'm, I'm glad that we were able to at least keep him to some capacity because I do think he can develop. But I do understand him not being on the active roster because there's just not really much room for him right now. Um, I think the three running backs we have are going to be fine where they're at. Um, oh, we did put Patrick Laird here. Uh, we could have cut him and put someone else, to be honest. Um, but you do have 16 practice squad spots right now because of COVID. So it is what it is. Uh, Benito Jones, I'm happy we kept because, like I said, um, I would like to see uh, him possibly be there if we need you know, depth at uh, nose tackle. He had to come in for a couple games last year. Uh, so, yeah. Isaiah Ford, I don't care. Shaquem Griffin, I'm glad we were able to keep. Um, I don't know if he'll play. But I'm, I'm glad we still have him as a development piece. Kirk Merritt, I'm definitely glad we didn't see just walk out. Because um, he was really starting to show himself in preseason, especially that last game. Uh, I wouldn't be shocked if he ends up coming up um, matchup-wise. Because um, I could see if we needed like a bigger speed advantage against a team where we, we might... Well, we can't really put Preston on the practice squad, but... If, if anything happens, I mean, Preston might not play today. So if that's the case, I wouldn't be shocked to see him on the active roster this week, to be honest. Um, depending on how many receivers they really want to run with. Because we got Grant, Hollins, Parker. You know, we got six active receivers. Uh, and if you look at the injury report, Preston is listed as questionable. And Preston gets hurt all the time. Same with Devontae Parker. So I'm glad that we did keep Kirk Merritt. Uh, just in case, Brandon Powell as well. He's he's fine. Calvin Munson, uh, Jabal Sheard. What the fuck? Why, why do we have an eleven-year-old vet? Practice squad. That's weird. That's like a waste of a spot for me. Same with Bobby Hart. Bobby Hart is terrible. Wow, I forgot about Jabal Sheard, but whatever. Uh, Reed Center, yeah, I'm glad he's sticking around. John Smith. Yeah, Adam Pankey's hurt. And uh, Austin Jackson and Adam Shaheen um, both tested positive for COVID. But from what I hear, Austin Jackson has uh, tested negative since then, so he's looking like he'll probably play. Uh, let me take a look at the Patriots real quick. Um... Because I did see 
that at least with their injuries, with, with their injuries, um, Malcolm Perry is out, which is kind of nice because <laughs> I didn't want to see us have to immediately play against him. But um, not that it, I think he would have made that big of a deal, to be honest. But uh, Nelson Aguilar is. Um, why is it listing him as a safety? He's a receiver. But okay. Um, if if he doesn't play that, that'll help a lot. And it's an ankle injury, so he might not be able to cut as well, might not be able to be as fast. It looks like he did have limited participation in practice, so he might actually end up playing. We'll have to see. Um, but if he doesn't, I think that'll really help because, t- in my opinion, he's probably their best receiver. Uh, Yadni Kajus to help if he didn't play, of course. Ronnie Perkins, that'd be a great help. Uh, but I, I have no issue playing with them, playing against them at their uh, at their best either. So either way, I'm good there. But if we don't have to cover Nelson Aguilar, that'd be even better. But even if he does play, I'm very confident in Byron X, whichever one ends up on him. I'd probably put Byron on him, personally. Byron seems to handle like the uh, the speedsters a little bit better. Not that X can't handle it. I I I just rather I I like to have Byron on like the more athletic freaks and have X more so on the route runners because I think that if if there's anywhere that Byron struggles, it is with nuanced route runners in my opinion. Okay. Uh, J.C. Jackson looks the same. Devin McCourty is. Chase is the same. Barmore is 90. Okay. Rochek is 92. Okay. Ronnie Perkins, 51. I did remember that. Van Noy is back. Yeah, still 53. Um... 67. Yeah, that all looks the same. I just wanted to confirm this stuff because I was <laughs> I was a little lost a little bit with the uh, the Cowboys game because quite a few of their support players changed their numbers. But it doesn't look like the Dolphins or Patriots really changed too much. Um. I forgot they signed Raekwon McMillan. Uh, yeah, Nikhil Harry did go down, but he can't catch anyway. He can't get open. Not really afraid of him. I actually liked him in college. I knew he couldn't run routes, but he's not even really showing himself as like a physical pass catcher. Just taking a look at their practice squad real quick. Trey Nixon, okay. I remember him at a UCF. I think I made a video on him. Huh, interesting. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Jalen Mills, yeah. But luckily, there were some people that were uh, on the list a little bit. Uh, Liam Eichenberg was, had some learning participation in practice, uh, Throughout the week, but he's good to go. Devontae Parker's good. Landon Roberts good. Albert Wilson, Salvin Ahmed. Uh, Clayton's good. So, great on that. Uh, we'll have to see with Preston. Uh, it does say that Austin Jackson's questionable, but I did see a report that he's supposed to be uh, good to go. Uh, but if not, I'm glad that Liam is good to go. Um, so, we'll just kind of have to play it by ear there. Uh, maybe they'll sit him out just because he couldn't practice. That's the only thing I could think of. But um, I did see a report that he's supposed to play. Um, and like I said, hopefully Preston plays. But if not, I would like to elevate Kirk Merritt uh, to the active roster until Preston is back. Because I think he could also help with special teams. He was pretty good there uh, during the regular season as well. I mean, during the preseason. So, yeah. Um, real quick, let me just... Yeah, I just wanted to double-check the running back room. Yeah, we are just running with the three. That's what I thought. Okay. So, anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.